today I will be talking about my experience at UC Merced. It's it's a really small school. Uh, it's the tenth new campus in the UC system, and uh, it's in California, which is on the west side of the US. All these schools are on the east, and whereas I'm the only one who's on the west side. So my presentation is not that elaborate as it is because I just flew in yesterday and I didn't really I didn't really have time to make it. But I would do more of talking and less of my PowerPoint. <coughs> yeah, so I'm pretty much sure what she said was right. Um, I'm actually transferring to University of San Diego uh, next semester. It's a private institution. I'd be too, I'm really, really acknowledged with uh, the whole California education system, system. Because when I graduated from high school over here, I didn't go to a university, but instead I went to a community college. Because I was not a A plus student, or I wasn't the top 5%, but I was an average student. So for me, my dream school was not possible at that time. But, but I had an alternative that I went to community college where they take students, average students, and the good part is that once you do a year or two at community college, you can actually transfer to your dream school. Uh, so they have they have a contract type of school. Like if you do two years of community college at a particular area, then you can easily transfer to. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know USC, University of Southern California. So. If, if you have, if you sustain a reasonable GPA of like 3.0, you're guaranteed admission into that school as a junior, which is the third year. And the reason I want to transfer to the University of San Diego is because it's a private university. And uh, I personally think that private universities have a strong alumni foundation. Uh, public universities too, but uh, private university is a uh, your student to teacher ratio is better and you get more attention. And uh, for in case you guys don't know that the UC is a public IV. What I mean by public IV is not a private school, it's a public school, but uh, it's an IV, it's in the IV League of a public school. And why did I choose USA? Um, nice business schools. Um, uh, great networking. Uh, for me, my concentration is more so management than the so That's what I like to do, and that's what I want to do. And uh, looking at all the top world leaders, uh, you see that they are from they they study from there, and uh, not all of them, but many of them. And as an Indian, I didn't want to study in my home soil because I get too relaxed. And I know that I have everything uh, I need without, even doing, without making any effort. So that's why I plan to go to the US. And uh, you make strong network. You're friends from all over the world. And uh, especially uh, private institutions, you make stronger networks. Getting out of the generic bubble, I mean, that's what I meant. Like, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be like, I'm doing BBA in finance, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. I just want to be more specific, because uh, you, get, you actually learn that later on in your, in your life. When, uh, I would say two years after you're in college, you'll actually realize what you want to do. Because so the first year is basically, you're doing nothing. You, you take, you sample out all the electives you want. And then the sophomore, that is the second year. You realize what you want to really, what you really want to like do, and it's still kind of confusing. Your junior is the one you really, really know what you want to do. Uh, how to choose the perfect one? Do not choose a university just because it's highly ranked. I mean, I'm gonna say like a lot of parents here say that. What can what works what's the rank of the university? I would say I'm not really concerned about that because first thing, even though it's highly ranked, you have to be sure that your child can cope up with 
the level of education over there. It's really, it's, it's really strenuous, I'm not gonna lie. And plus, uh, look for the one who mastered the academic interest. For me, I chose USD because the program I looked into, the program I wanna do, is really, really nice over there. And it's like really, uh, what do you call, it's actually what I want to do. It's not what something the school wants me to do. And uh, I looked at Boston schools too. They have the same program, but again, uh, they emphasize on the program more in USC. And even though the Boston school, Batson, or for example, Bentley is ranked higher than USC, the program that I want to do is much better and much more, uh, what do you call that, much more, uh, emphasized on at USC. So that's why, the that's the reason I chose USD over any school in Boston. And uh, look for a smaller size school, preferably. Do not, a public university is pretty big. <coughs> but uh, look for smaller size schools so that you have small classes, you get more attention. And uh, you actually, you want to make really good connections with professors. Like Krishna said that, you know, in a smaller size school, you can coordinate with your professor the same day. That's true. And plus, we also want to know, because a lot of schools there, you know, the professors don't know you personally. But you want to make sure that the professor knows, because I was being taught by uh, the number two economist of the world. I was, taught, I was being taught macroeconomics by that. And like uh, Knuckles said, he was being taught by the Nobel laureate. That's, and if you make connections with those kind of people, you add strong credentials to it, right? And you know, you have something that other pe a lot of other people don't have. And uh, weather, I know it's kind of radical, but uh, East Coast is uh, very cold. Uh, I cannot cope with cold weather. So that's why I chose the West Coast. And plus, like, uh, plus, uh, if I went to the East Coast, my first year is really important because you have to you have to develop a GPA and you have to continue with that. And uh, for me, first year, I'm pretty sure I would not go to class because it's so cold. So that way, I would my GPA would just fall. And that's why I it's it's not a really important point here, but it's something my perspective. Uh, do take weather. It's really really cold, isn't it? Uh, it's pretty cool, huh?